Turns out we were right about the Baltimore Ravens, but we didn't want to be right about the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, when they signed Kyle Vinoy, uh, that was an indication to me, and I know a lot of y'all too, that there was something up, and not in a good way, when it came to the injuries of David Ajabo uh, and or Adafe Away. Uh, because initially we were led to believe, especially with Adafe Away, that the injury was minor, that it wasn't no big deal, that he would be back soon. Now, not at any given timetable or anything like that, but that we'd be good to go. Uh, and then when Ajabo got hurt, they were like, oh, it's an angle injury, and we'll see. We didn't get any specific updates with him either. But when they signed Kyle Vinoy, I was thinking, oh, no, that's, that's not a good sign. It, it, it really isn't. Um, but now we got an official update because the Baltimore Ravens, they have placed David Ajabo on injured reserve. So he will miss at least, at least four games now. This is where the cause for concern comes in for me because with David Ajabo, um, he will be missing the next four games at minimum. But with Adam Schefter's report, makes me think it may be a little bit longer. Let's read it. He said, Ravens placed uh, outside linebacker David Ajabo on injury reserve due to ankle and knee injuries. So both. Uh, before, I, I thought we just heard that it was an ankle. But this is saying ankle and knee injuries. So a double whammy, not a good thing at all. Uh, and they also signed Kyle Vinoy to the 53-man roster. So Kyle Vinoy, uh, they were like, look, you came through, you practiced this week. Hey, you're good enough. Let's roll. Let's do it. Let's get this thing done. You done played in the NFL plenty. You done played on a bunch of different teams. You may not know the defense as much as we want you to, but that's going to be good enough because we need you big time because we just straight up need bodies. They need bodies. Uh, so with David Ajabo, this is unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate, but it never ends. It never ends. With the Baltimore Ravens, we just did the video question from subscribers today where my guy Ryan, he, he talked about the way to end all these Ravens injuries and whatnot. He gave us very detailed input, but Ravens got to figure something out, man. They got to figure something. Since 2020, this has been happening like crazy. Since 2020. And now with another thing, with the significance of David Ajabo, him going on injury reserve, I, I guess we'll, we'll hear more about it um, on Monday when John Harbaugh has his presser. But I wonder if this is going to be injury reserve and maybe he'll be one of the people that will come back or if this is injury reserve and it's a wrap for him this season. Um, I know with David Ajabo, this was not, he was not getting off to a hot start. Um, he was one of the people who... Uh, ranked pretty low when it came to pass rush win rate. It uh, wasn't looking so good for him early on. And we know it had just been a couple of games. Maybe it would take him some time to get in his groove. And this was essentially sort of his rookie season because uh, he only played one game and changed last year, uh, but still wasn't looking too good. But now, um, because what, what I did find out, because I didn't know about this before, you have a limited number of people that you can bring back from injured reserve. Um, so with them placing David Ajabo on injury reserve, I wonder if the the value is there for the Baltimore Ravens where they're like, hey, we want to bring him back. Or if they like, hey, we can use this injury reserve on him because he may not be coming back. But again, I, I guess that's that's just me looking ahead. We'll see when we see. But again, for the next four games, at least the next four games, uh, he is out of there, unfortunately. Um, also, the Baltimore Ravens, they brought up Laquan Treadwell uh, from the practice squad. They called him up for the game, and they also elevated Melvin Gordon uh, again from the practice squad too uh, for the game tomorrow. So the Baltimore Ravens wide receivers in the game tomorrow, uh, it is going to be Zay Flowers, Nelson Aguilar, uh, Devin DuVernay and Laquan Treadwell so it's going to be those four guys and it's also in the other pass catches Mark Andrews Isaiah Likely Charlie Kohler um, I mean you could say Patrick Card too Justice Hill he said he's expected to play as well um, but man it's uh it's frustrating man it's frustrating so as frustrated as we are as fans um, I can't imagine like the players, the, the, the coaches, the, the front office, how frustrated they've got to be uh, when because they, they are experiencing all of this firsthand. Uh, so I, I just I don't even know exactly what to think about it because every week, every week we get some bad news on, and we ain't even hit week four yet. Well, week four started. We ain't even played the week four game yet. 
We Ravens have played three games. They played three games. And we have been through so many injuries already. Three games. Now, granted, again, like we talked about and been talking about, a good amount of these guys are coming back. But some of them are also done. Some of them, that's a wrap. That's it. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I I don't know what it is. I don't know what it could be. I would love to, to, to find a solution. If somebody had a solution, somebody could fix it. People ask, I remember people ask during the live streams a lot. They say, oh, if you could trade for one thing, well, if you could trade for one player, what would it be? If you could acquire a sign or a trade for any player, who, who could it be? I said, no, it would, not, it would not be a player for me. I would trade for health. I would trade a first, second, third round pick, two fourth round picks. I Give the whole draft away if the Ravens can actually be healthy. Because they ain't been healthy. We don't even know what health is for the football team. Cause they ain't had it. They ain't had it in years, literal years. And again, it's so crazy looking back, going into week one. I, I will never forget because we so, we're not used to hearing this stuff. And then every week after that, it, it showed why we ain't used to hearing this stuff. Going back to week one, I remember they were like, oh, every single Raven is practicing except Marlon Humphrey. Everybody, I'm like, whoa, everybody except Marlon Humphrey. That's it. And they were like, he's the only person not practicing headed into week one. I was like, what? Really? That's it? Just hump? And, of course, we would have won at Hump in that game and in all the games, of course, because he would have made the defense that much better, the team that much better because he is that much better. But it's like, okay, we ain't got Marlon Hump, but that's the only one? Oh, okay. Well, we are he as healthy as we've ever been going into week one. But coming out of week one was a completely different story. Coming out of week two was another difference. Coming out of week three was another difference. So, yeah. But, yeah, it is what it is, and it, that's, that's what it's going to be. So these Baltimore Ravens, they they are their biggest, their own worst enemy in, in so many different ways. But one of the biggest ways is health. And obviously they're not out here getting hurt on purpose. We know that. But is it just bad coincidence? I, 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 for some of the stuff it could be, but I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's just the weirdest thing ever.